Another cool new feature in version 4.0 is virtual camera. Uh, we went through a lot of different names when we were thinking about what to call this. Um, we went for a wearable camera or body cam or action camera. Um, but given that this feature was designed to allow you to upload offline videos into the archive and treat them just like a normal IP camera, uh, we said virtual camera would be the kind of widest explanation of, of what this is. Um, so how the virtual camera feature works is uh, you go to your uh, server. Let me delete this one because I was playing with it a second ago. Go up to the top here, sorry, new. Go to virtual camera. You're going to be asked to pick a server that you want to put this virtual camera on. I'm going to call it desktop. I'm going to name it Tony Phone. All right. So now you can see over here in the tree, I've got uh, Tony Phone that's shown up. And the camera settings dialog will pop up. Um, you can import fisheye images. So if you've got a body cam with a fisheye lens on it and you need to de-warp it, you can do that. Um, under expert settings, we have the logical ID for developers who want to interact with this virtual camera. Um, if you're not sure what that means, don't worry about it. Developer, you get it. And under general here, we got a couple different choices. Uh, we got upload footage. We got image control, which allows you to flip it if you've recorded upside down for some reason. Um, and we've got motion detection. So when you're importing a file into a virtual camera, uh, you can detect motion on it. Um, and then you can uh, apply the same sens sensitivities as you would on a normal IP camera. So I'm going to leave it as detect motion and sensitivity 5. Um, if, if, obviously, if you've got a guard walking around, there's going to be lots of motion. That's basically what this video is, so you can see how it looks. So I go to upload file. I'm going to go to my pictures. And I've got some a phone video that I did, office walk around. I'm going to press open. And you're going to see it start to upload into the archive. Now, if you've chosen a server that's remotely, the upload may take a little longer. I've chosen the same uh, computer to upload my footage into, so it's going to be pretty quick. Um, but you can see that as it's uploaded, you can see the the um, percentage that it is complete here on the de on the uh, camera settings dialog. You can also see it here in the tree. So if you've got a large file, you can close this out, uh, and it will continue to upload uh, even if you've closed this out. And when it's done. Then you'll get a notification that it's done, and it's going to read the EXIF data on this video. Um, so that's the uh, the time and the location and all the information, different metadata that's attached to the video, which is created by the camera that's capturing it. Uh, one very important thing is make sure your time zone on your camera that you're recording with is set to the same time zone as your server. Uh, and make sure that it's accurate because whatever EXIF data is written into that video file is what's going to be used to place this video on the timeline. Um, one other thing to consider is if you've got multiple cameras or multiple files that you're uploading into the same virtual camera, if they have the same time zone, then you're not going to be able to upload, or time data, you're not going to be able to upload two clips in the same time. Um, so think about that. If you've got multiple body cams out there, it's better just to go ahead and create multiple virtual cameras. One reason is virtual camera is free. It's not a licensed feature, so you don't need a license for the virtual camera. Um, so that's cool. So the file has been uploaded. Um, if I go to Tony's phone here, now I can see that today at uh, around 2.57 p.m., uh, I started recording this file. Um, and 16 by 9, obviously I switched it to uh, horizontal. So this is me with my phone walking around the office, kind of showing what's happening, right? So if you think about this, virtual camera is great for like body cams, tours. Um, the, the original kind of reason that we developed this feature was actually for a Fukushima uh, nuclear power plant in Japan where, where they were having uh, some issues uh, and they needed to be able to pull out um, recorded information um, from, the, uh, from uh, some robotic devices they had going and looking at the the, the scenario there and seeing what was going on uh, inside the old nuclear reactor. So this is the virtual camera feature, uh, completely free, like I said, to create virtual cameras. Uh, once you've created this this uh, video, you can still now search it for motion and everything else. You can see this is solid motion because, well, I was walking around. Um, but really cool feature, available in version 4.0. Download it and give this a try and tell us what you think.